Hey guys, so I got a request to um, show how I do my hair. Um, I'm usually wearing my hair in a um, wash and go. Um, still, if you're OG, you already know. Twist outs and me do not have a good, or twist outs and I, however you say it, do not have a good relationship. Um, I cannot remember. I've only, I probably only have one successful twist out per se. Um, flat twist outs better but actual twist outs are no go so most of the time when you see me wearing my hair um, it's going to be in a wash and go so my hair has been washed um, with my deity plant poo um, I have deep conditioned um, overnight because I just didn't feel like doing whatever yes I know it doesn't make a difference if you deep condition for 30 20 minutes or overnight I know I don't care um, I didn't feel like doing my hair last night and so um, I hope there's not an echo. I'm in the guest restroom. But um, who's that saying? Deep condition overnight with um, Basque, I'm oh, sorry, Bakura, Bakura Beauties um, Yam Nectar. And now I'm gonna do my wash and go. So I've rinsed it out. And to do my hair, I usually do my hair in two sections. Let me put this section back up. And I like to do my hair um, while my hair is pretty wet. So this is just regular water and I'm just going to re-wet my hair a bit. Okay. And for my leave-in, I'm using Curl Junkies Curl Rehab. And all the products I'm using today are, um, what you call it, Holy Grails. So, I take a good amount and I just run it through. My hair has been detangled. Um, I'll put a picture somewhere here of my detangling tool that I use. So I'm just making sure my hair is fully, um, fully, what you call it, detangled or fully saturated with the leave-in. Same thing here. So, hair is in my eye. Hair is completely um, saturated with leave in. I am low porosity. Um, even through, I know some people have porosity changes whenever they're, um, they get pregnant or whatever, but even through winter and all that postpartum hormone issues and hair growing back, a different texture, I feel like now my hair is a bit kinkier. I'm more on the 4B end of the spectrum, if we still do that whole hair typing thing. Um, low porosity, so I am low porosity, so the reason why I do my leave-in, um, first is I want it to at least try to get into my hair. Um, I have an issue when it comes to what you call it, things penetrating the hair shaft. Since I'm low porosity, it takes a lot for um, things to get into my actual hair. Things will just sit on top, water included. Um, Google that if you want to. I don't, I think porosity has been talked about in nauseum on YouTube. So find a video, low porosity, that's what I am, okay? So I do my conditioner first or whatever. And then after I go through, split the sections. And granted, I don't have a lot of hair on my head. Um, most of my hair is shaved. Um, so, oh, and then I also put a little bit of leave-in on my mohawk. I almost forgot it. Anyway, so split the section, split the section again, and go in with Uncle Funky's daughter. Okay, and you can't use a lot of this. Um, just like a lot of mucus, I call it mucus gels. 
but just like a lot of mucus gels, um, it doesn't take a lot to um, make your hair really sticky and that's not what we want, right? And I just go through and get a little bit, okay, a little bit and just run it through. And I'm raking it through. Um, if I'm in a hurry or if I don't really care about redoing my hair um, again for the week or whatever, I will just kind of smush everything together. But being that um, I don't feel like redoing my hair again this week, um, yeah, I'm taking my time and making sure the product coats everywhere. All right, so my hair is done. Well, my hair has the gel in it, okay? So then I take it and I kind of just work it all the way through. Get a little bit of gel, put in my mohawk. And I go in a little circle to kind of get whatever's there, there. Get whatever curl pattern is showing up there, there, okay? And of course, we do the whole shake, okay? Hopefully nothing gets on my lens. <laughs> okay, so here's my hair wet. Like I said, I don't have, my hair isn't clumpy or whatever. I don't have that kind of hair texture. Um, and that's fine. I love this whole thing, right? So I diffuse my hair often, um, more often than not, I will diffuse my hair. Guys, okay, so I diffuse with my bow jar. This is just a Conair attachment I got at Walmart. This is a Taff. T-A-I-F-F -F dryer. I got it when I was in cosmetology school from the school itself. I just diffuse. I do diffuse on high. Um, I don't really have any heat damage or any aversion to heat or whatever as far as blow drying diffusing is concerned. So I'm just gonna diffuse. All right guys, so I diffused. Um, I typically like to diffuse standing up first and I'll do side, like you saw, side, side, back, get kind of the ends dry. Winter, really? Close the door, please. Yes. Thank you. Um, and then I will diffuse upside down. That kind of gives my roots a little bit of volume. Um, it, from what y'all have seen in videos, I think I've worn my hair maybe three, four times in videos. Um, I do like to have my hair kind of up and so after diffusing um, hair is pretty much dry roots are a little bit wet I'll go in with the trusty pick and I'll kind of just pick my roots a little just to give me a little bit of volume and especially in the middle because I mean if you have a little porosity here you already know your hair takes forever to dry forever in a day 
So I'll just go in and pick a little. And second day, ooh, second day hair is always, <clears throat> sorry. Second day hair is always better for me. Um, just because every, <laughs> this thing doesn't want to stay up. Everything has dried and um, I don't, I have more volume. My kinkiness has kind of come together. I have more volume or whatever. So yeah, but that's typically how I do my hair. So I like to have my sides kind of, Jesus. <laughs> I like to have my sides kind of um, up or whatever. So I do kind of get that mohawk feel. Um, I will take a little bit of the curls rehab and just go on my sides um, where I don't really have here, I mean, I have here, but y'all know what I'm saying. It's not like actual hair that I'm growing out. <laughs> and I'll just take my little baby brush and just brush those areas to kind of have it together. I got my hair cut last week. It's been eight days since I got my hair cut. Got my designs cut and they're already fading. That's the only thing I hate about my hair grows really fast, apparently. So, well, my sides grow. My actual hair takes forever and a day to grow. <laughs> Hang on, Win. Hang on, Winter. I'm right by the door. Okay, so that is my, all right guys, so that was my wash and go routine. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Just drop them in the, um, comments or whatever. And yeah, so finished product. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to y'all later, bye.